The federal government is about to launch another round of stimulus. Stimulus part two. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna talk about a few things. First, I'm gonna tell you what's likely in the bill that's just been, or will be proposed, I should say, uh, probably when you see this video on Monday, I'm recording it on Sunday, uh, at least the bill proposed by the Senate. I mean, we've already had a blasphemous bill that the uh, House put forth a while ago. That's cray cray. But the one that the Senate is going to be proposing is going to be coming due soon. So, you know, what is it going to look like? What's in it? What's it going to cost? Okay, that's important, right? What is it going to do to the stock markets this week? What does it mean to us silver and gold stackers? Are you surprised? I know some of you out there are. I took a poll not too long ago, and there was quite a few of you that said, ah, oh, they're not going to come together. Ah, oh, they're never going to figure this out. They'll never pass. Are you kidding me? Guys, it's politics. This is an election year. That's what happens. I'm not surprised. Both sides, both parties want to look good to their electorate. They don't want to deny the masses their handouts. They can't look like that. that that's just a disaster move in an election year. So let the redistribution of wealth continue, right? It's time for ludicrous speed. <gasps> ludicrous speed. So we've never gone that fast before. <laughs> That first CARES Act was massive. It was $2.2 trillion. It totally dwarfed the $831 billion relief package that the Obama administration passed during you know, the financial crisis. And the CARES Act was uh, you know, purportedly passed to you know, support struggling industries, to you know, really help out the small businesses. That was the um, uh, payroll protection plan thing that they put out. Um, they also wanted to boost unemployment benefits to tens of millions of Americans. That's that 600 bucks a week payment that ended, by the way, this past weekend. Also, under CARES Act Volume 1, there was Show me the money! cash, baby. Yeah. A worker could receive up to $1,200 each. $2,400 for a couple filing jointly. And then there was an extra 500 bucks for each dependent child under 17. The Yankee household got their bloated handout. But here's the deal. About three quarters of the stimulus recipients just burned through their payouts in four weeks or less. So in a month, in, in a month or less, all the money's gone. What do they got to do? They got to give us more money. People are in dire straits when it comes to, you know, rent, mortgage, auto, college, credit card payments. Our debt is just simply too big to fail. Government knows that. I knew Congress was just going to vomit stimulus all over the place. That's what they do, guys. All right. So there's three main, main pieces to this uh, uh, second stimulus uh, bill that I think is going to be passed sometime probably in, in this next week. First thing is cash, right? The second stimulus check of $1,200 per American that, you know, earn up to $75,000 or, um, you know, 150,000 if you're uh, married filing jointly. Anyway, 1,200 bucks. Now, here's the deal. The Democrats in their HEROES Act had another 1,200 per dependent, up to three total. And the Republicans are probably going to come in around $500 per dependent. That's what it was the last time. I think they'll just, you know, battle it out a little bit and just be done with it. It'll probably be $500. It makes sense that they'll just do what they did last time. The question is, how are they going to pay it out? Now, it sounds like the $1,200 is going to be in, you know, like, a, like an advance on a uh, refundable tax credit. But, but how? How are they going to do it? Direct deposit, check, just like they did last time? Or are they going to try to get that Bitcoin in this time? You know, it was almost in the first time round and they dropped it. You know, let's 
come out with some wallet that we could have very, you know, crypto like and just the Fed just deposits into that. You know, you get your wallet, you get your 1200 bucks. Who knows? They might even put some, you know, restrictions on it. You know, I think that it will be a little too quick for them to implement this time, but I know it's coming. It's just a matter of time. So that's the first piece of it. The second one I'm reading about says we're going to get some more unemployment checks. Uh, That $600 a week check just ended, as I mentioned, and they're coming back. But I don't think it's going to be as much as it was before. Oh, uh, U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said uh, last Thursday that, quote, we're not going to pay people more money to stay at home than work. No, really? Ah, yeah, you'd never do that, would you? But they got to do something, right? Again, election year. You, you, you can't say no <laughs> to the voter. I mean, come on. There are, uh, you know, new unemployment claims are exceeding 1 million each week. Now, the House, <laughs> they want to pay workers not to work for the rest of the year. Uh, actually, you know, I wonder if they ever want people to go back to work. I mean, universal basic income. You know, no one should have to work, right? We should all just go to work because we love our work. We, we, we do it for fun, for the, for the betterment of humanity. Anyways, the house is is a bunch of wingnuts. The Senate though, (laughs) they're looking to extend the benefits based on approximately, I think 70% of a person's wage. They, they might do that. They might keep it to, you know, $100 a week, $200 a week. I don't know. And then, you know, the last thing, the third thing that you'll probably see is more of the payroll protection program, the PPP that, you know, was given to businesses to help save existing jobs. So this PPP program just is basically a handout or a, a forgivable loan to small businesses just to keep their employees on the payroll. The first time they did it was a mess at the start. I mean, I I was reading this guy, uh, Joshua Gottbaum, a guest scholar of economic students at the Brookings Institute, and he said a careful study found that the PPP eligible small businesses laid off people just as quickly as other businesses. Yeah. And from what I was reading too on the side, those that actually did take the grant is what we really should call it. They're now dropping their employees left and right after the loan was forgiven. Yeah, big shock there, right? <laughs> so we we, we got to extend it. You know, we we got to go more months now, so nobody can lose their job. No, no, nobody. Nope, can't happen. Now I'm sure there's going to be other stuff in this bill, like you know, a moratorium on evictions or blah blah blah, whatever. It it, it boils down to you know more cash money, more welfare, more more building, more zombie companies. And and if that sounds heartless, I, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be. I, I, I don't want to sound like I don't care. On the contrary, I care very much about my nation, my fellow uh, Americans. Guys, this round two spending orgy is going to cost $2 trillion. Now, maybe more, a little more, a little less, whatever. $2 trillion. What is heartless is promising all this freaking welfare and giving the Fed the right to print up all the money to fund it. What is heartless is destroying this. That is heartless, okay? That, That will be the end of our nation's way of life. We will quickly move from a fear of deflation to stagflation and then into hyperinflation. And then it's game over, man. It's game over. So, so what does this mean for the stock market and silver and gold? Because, you know, we're stackers, or at least I hope you're stacking silver and gold or have been stacking silver and gold. But the stock market, oh my word, they're going to love this. The V-shaped recovery is back, baby. Everything is awesome. We're going to see new nominal highs coming to a market near you. Temporarily, of course. Remember, the, the destiny of the dollar is the dump. 
Speaking of temporary, all this I think is really going to cause this fear to subside. And what happens when fear in the economy subsides? Well, you, know, you get a pullback in metals a lot of the time. You know, gold primarily uh, is impacted by fear. You know, when people are uncertain, people are concerned and or fearful, gold tends to go up in price. You know, maintains value, right? I think gold is likely to give up its new highs. Yes, it broke through new highs. It closed at a new high. It's fantastic, right? We see it above 1900, closed for the first time. Wonderful, right? But I think it's going to retrace some. I wouldn't be surprised to see gold hit 1850. I I wouldn't be totally shocked to see it even break 1800. Silver? Well, <laughs> remember, silver is even more volatile than gold. Gold goes up and down a little. Silver tends to go up and down a lot. Okay, so I think my prediction is still spot on. I'm looking at, you know, July, August. At some point, I think there's going to be a pullback in silver. I'm still building my store of this fiat, getting ready to pounce on any drop in silver. Okay, it, it, you know, I'll, I'll probably restart my purchases when I see the price of silver drop as it approaches twenty dollars. I'm going to dive in big time if it drops at all below twenty into the teens. It won't last long there. Okay, but I think that will be a great buying opportunity. Now, I do want to address one other thing that came up in you know the 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 last video that I was talking about what I expected silver to do. I'll, I'll link to it right up there. You can check it out if you haven't seen it. And a lot of you said, Yankee, it doesn't matter what the paper spot price does, okay? Premiums are not gonna change. Supply is still gonna be an issue. And that, those are great points. I didn't get into it on that video. I didn't want it to go on for an hour. And I have talked about premiums and supply issues and all that in the past. But I will tell you that I have been talking a lot with my LCS dealer, Tim. I text him almost every day. And he told me that over the last weekend, demand was high. People were in there a lot. But he told me he had silver. He had many 10-ounce bars. Uh, some people were selling them, okay? They wanted out of silver. You know, we get a, a shoot up on silver. Some people, maybe they bought out in the 20, they bought into silver, you know, years ago in the 20s and now that it goes up they say fine i can get rid of this stuff and get my money i don't know whatever it was there were people selling silver so i do think that supply will be there when the spot drops and tim doesn't ignore spot that's one of the things i love about him if spot goes down yeah he drops his price he doesn't just expand his premiums okay and that's why it's very important to establish a relationship with a local coin shop dealer find a good one okay you may not see this online you may not see this at the big online bullion dealers but a lot of times you will see it at some really good lcs dealers if you have a really good one tell me what it's like for you when uh, spot goes up and down what what does your dealer do but the point is this upcoming stimulus is going to spark, I believe, a temporary pullback and a buying opportunity for silver and gold, more so with silver. It may be the last great opportunity we ever see. As I said in that video before, I don't think we will ever see silver in the teens again, ever. If it drops down and breaks in, it won't last long. Why? Because I think the die is cast. We are never getting out of this dead-end one-way street to economic collapse. So get ready, guys. Get ready to stack hard. In fact, you better believe that I'm going to take whatever cash the government foolishly gives me, and I'm going to get more of this. Stimulate this, right? <laughs> Will you? Are you going to be buying more if you get... Uh, a stimulus check round two from the government let me know in the comments i appreciate that and as always i hope your day is a-okay <laughs>